Our top stories tonight. Marcus Eda fist pumps mid-run. JP Claire is searching for Tranny. Fabi Studer gets dirty. Nico Tzatzik turns 30 and tries a double. After a few successes and big airs, Marcos Eda from Italy has shotgunned himself into worldwide ski fame. After ending up third in the qualifier and second in the finals of the Red Bull line catcher in Vaz last week. Uh, it was awesome, it was so cool to be up there with, with all the pros and their such good vibes. The best emotion today was stomping my run because I didn't expect to land it and then to came down to the bottom and it was over. I couldn't think anything. It was so cool, I almost cried because it was just awesome. The day after his success, he went out shooting for Estivation in Vaz. After becoming second of the Red Bull line catcher, he's gonna hit his first travel jump of the world of his life today. Uh-oh! 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 Uh -oh. We're already... everybody's up. <laughs> With more contests coming up this season, including the Red Bull Play Streets, we're looking forward to seeing more of Europe's most promising ski star. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the skiers were being kept busy signing autographs, <laughs> giving interviews. I did like one half cab. It's a total life, that doesn't matter. Uh, what? What should I say? Shooting for catalog and movie productions. I can film myself and be sharp. See? It's not sharp right now, and it's sharp now. They also had time to relax. Yeah! Everyone went out soul shredding during the day, Facebook sessions in the afternoon, and then met for dinner at night time. The Red Bull Lie Catcher 2011 was a great success, and I bet everyone involved is looking forward for next year's edition. Patty Graham sacrificed himself after stomping a Misty 7 to win best trick at the Red Bull Lie Catcher qualifier. Patty dislocated his shoulder by overclaiming when crossing the finish line. He has returned to the UK to get some treatment on his shoulder. Patty will be back in the Alps in a few days and he will host the Down Days News from the Red Bull Play Streets in Bankastein. The first FIS Half Pipe contest in Austria took place on January the 21st with French pipe slayer Xavier Bertoni winning the gold medal. This event was a huge step towards free skiing becoming an Olympic discipline. Olin de Croix of France and Angel Carlson of the United States of God Bless America have taken out the first stop of the Nissan Freeride World Tour in Chamonix. And now to the weather. 15 to 20 centimeters of snow is expected in Central Alps. With fine weather and cold temperatures taking us into the next month. Scandinavian farmers have reported that all their cows are facing east while sleeping. Meaning that the mountains between Otto and Trizil will get a lot of snow. Thanks for watching the Down Days News. Hope to see you next month. I'm out. Oh, okay. You were laughing, no? Huh? Marcos Eda. <laughs> He's pretty dope. Marcos Eda from France. Too fucking famous. Why do I have a job with that? And a little. The Alps in a few days. And we'll be hosting the Down Days News from the Bad Gastein event in... <laughs> 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 okay.